Oh hi, hello, welcome to my video. I am Pixie and I am back. I have been gone for a really, really long time, but I have been obsessed with Animal Crossing again recently. And in fairness, I have played a fair amount in the last year and a bit that I've been disappeared because it's, it's just an incredible game. I just love this game so much. I thought that we could do it in a gameplay style. I've seen a few videos that I really like that have completely inspired me. So today, oh, let me introduce you first. Hello, hello. Hi, if you are new, I am Pixie and this is my island, Peony. And it is going to be a, I mean, if you can't tell, sort of a pink pastel springish island, I guess. And I will show you the map. So, there's kind of a colour theme, as you can see. Um, I don't think I'll be keeping Marshall, but as people who've been here before will know that Marina is my favourite and I tend to have her on every single island that I have ever, ever made. Some of these can be moved if anyone has any suggestions, but we have Merang, Chrissy. Shino isn't staying. I know that for a fact, but I didn't have time to like bring in another villager because I just wanted to get started. Marina, Judy... Francine, Marshall, Etoile, Etoli, I don't know, Ioni, and Dom. And I've kind of gone, initially I was going to do red and pink, sort of like a love Valentine kind of theme. But I really, I saw Judy and Judy's sort of the middle to the, all the rest of these colours. So I'm going for like pink, blue and purple. So that's what we're doing. But to start off with, I have decided that we are going to do a bit of a natural island. So yeah, that's what that's what we're doing today. Natural island? No, 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 no. A natural entrance because Peony is going to be half natural, half town, which is what I love to do. So as you can see, you can actually see resident services there. And when I picked the island, I didn't realise it would be that close. I don't know what I thought. So what I want to do is build sort of an incline area where it's higher and then you'd come down to the resident services so it's separated and i also want some water terraforming at the same time uh, let's just i haven't done this for so long this is the first time i've terraformed on this island because i had to go through all this field so we need some sort of a space or a gap i'm trying to think i'd really quite like this enclosed i think and then to have an incline but I also want a river or like a lake so what I'll do is I'll build in this bit and I'll be right back and then we can continue deciding what we're going to do next okay so this is what we've got so far and I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it as I said I've sort of gone for like a natural area to begin with because that's what I want the island to be I will be extending the terraforming and things but obviously we're just building this for today so I've done the bases. I was initially going to put the incline here but then it gave less space to the viewing area of the river or the little lake or whatever so I've put it here. Now I'm thinking that I'm going to add another layer of terraforming so we can sort of make little waterfalls I think but I'm not so sure. Um, <laughs> So um yeah, let's uh, let, let's give it a go. I'll add some. I'm thinking first we could do with like some terraforming here, but we need a space for the incline to come down. And I want to hide resident services, so I might have to take this out a little bit longer. But let's see if we can create sort of like a little circle space, maybe you know, so we can get a tree on top. But then also have a path for so i think a tree might fit here hang on let me just go get a tree and i will see because if i put the trees down then i know where i could put the terraforming down okay i am back although i've just realized i do not think it will fit here because yeah no that's not gonna fit there so maybe oh, will a bush fit here i went to fetch some bushes as well put this down because i'm gonna have it in cherry blossom season so it doesn't matter what butchers butchers <laughs> it doesn't matter what bushes i put down they're not gonna bloom but i want the pink from the trees although i don't have many hardwood trees so if this is the incline here 
maybe let's see if we can put a tree on top of here okay right see that's cute but now i feel i just want to hide oh i think i'm gonna have to extend the terraforming aren't i okay i will be back with more terraforming already done not with more terraforming i'll be back i've extended some of the terraforming i'm sorry if you can hear scratching on the door i'm in my tiny little computer room which is under my stairs and the dog is trying to get in um i think i need to put a path down and maybe put the incline in because my brain isn't brain in i know what i want to do i want like a sunken like lake with a few waterfalls maybe but i want the path so this is where the incline is going to come up I was going to have the walkway this way, but this is where I think I'm going to put the little waterfall. So I think I want to put a path around here and then this will be one way to get down once I've terraformed it better. And then maybe walk around here and we'll have another way to walk down and then behind resident services is where we're going to start the town area. So it won't just be natural here and then town behind it will have natural and town bits throughout the island if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get an incline and I'll be back. Okay, I have the incline, so let's see if it will go here now, which one? I've also picked up a house and I'll show you why. Uh, let's imagine it just in case I hate it. Um, hmm. Does it need to be further back? Uh, maybe. Okay, that's cute. I think that's cute. I could do with... Maybe I need to take that side back. Uh, let's just put this down and I'll pay Lloyd. And then I'm going to add some terraforming on the other side. And maybe take the lake further back, if that makes sense. So I can add an extra layer of terraforming here. Okay, brilliant. Right, so I'm going to get my ladder. Because ah, we are stuck. And let's climb over here. So can you see how I've made this little dent here? I'm thinking about taking, putting this back and extending the river that way. Maybe. Or... Ooh, or maybe it could go from here and then through here. Maybe. I think I like that idea. Okay, I'm back again. Um, I've changed some things. <laughs> I mean, a fair amount, I think. So what I've done is I've added all this space here. We're gonna scoop the river round here. And I think if I check my map, there's a river eye thing over here. So it's basically going to be like a long, windy river, potentially removing the other river. But that's not today's build. We're just focusing on the entrance. So I've extended this bit here. We'll have like one little fountain here, maybe something here. And I'm thinking about putting a villager house here, maybe. I just picked up rangs. I don't know who's staying here or whatever. See, because let's imagine this if i like this i might add some more terraforming around the back potentially because i want it to be like surrounded by trees and i want her to live like over the river maybe um hmm i'm just gonna add a tiny bit more terraforming and then i'll be back oh hey dom he's here to give me a reaction i thought you guys wanted to see him because it's pretty cute i've never had dom on an island before and i know loads of people really really love him i kind of picked dom because he's pinkish but also so he could date etoil etoli etoli who i also have never had on my uh, island again i have to add more terraforming because i will want trees behind the house because it's more natural um maybe i should bring it forward a little bit actually no let's put the trees down see i think maybe the layer of extraness will be the trees behind here okay that's that's not today's problem i'm just i'm just not gonna do that i'm just not gonna do that let's try this please don't get rid of the trees is that going to get is that going to get rid of the trees isn't it so i need to bring it forward a little bit okay let me imagine i don't think i can get a tree any closer can i is that taking away the one in the back? Uh, hmm. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go for it because I can move it. 
Oh, no, it's still there. Okay, what we are going to do is we are going to switch a day forward and then I'm going to do some pathing because, yeah, I'm 15 minutes in. haven't even started the pathing yet, so I will be back. Okay, so we're back when it's all been done. I do, I think I need to add a corner here because I don't like how square it is. I think I'm okay with Morang's house there. So we're going to, I'm going to see if I can put some more trees in. Okay, so let's go back down to the front because I need to start writing down this path. I'm also going to add this bit here, but I'm not going to fast forward this because it's going to take two seconds to do it. It will not take long and I, you guys know what I'm going to do. I wonder if it will actually let me do it. Will it let me do it? Will it let me do it? We will see. And then I also need to, so I'm going to add the path in, then I'm going to add the water in. And then we're going to see if we like it or not. So let's this on i'll show you the path i've got i have saved all of the see that's much nicer okay so let's go into the path i have saved all of the designs um oh here we go so because i want to do for a more natural path oh yeah that's really pretty okay we're gonna put a little flower here i'll just pick this one for now that's cute this is so simple and cute it's not usually like my style, I'm more like, oh, I should have got more than one flower. Let's go and get more flowers. Love a pink mum. And maybe let's get a uh, white tulip. Sure, let's just go for a white tulip because I love tulips. They're so, so pretty. Like they're so vibrant. I've been walking past um, some houses that have got like tulips in the window and they're just absolutely stunning. And I might actually go and buy my I can buy myself flowers. I'm sorry, that's so cringe. I might actually go and buy some tulips. So because that's there, let's go for the pink mum. A white tulip. Oh no! Oh there we can put a code here. Let's put a code down. Oh you might see all my designs now. <laughs> I mean oh no! Butterfly? Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, and I think I'm gonna put like a fence here maybe but we're not doing that yet we're gonna continue doing the path i'm going to continue with that flowery path i think do i want this here do i want that there do i want that there I had an idea it's like like that goes there and then sure sure <laughs> maybe another bush would go here would that be cute Again, like I say, even though the bushes are red, you're not going to see. And then some fencing. One, and one cross. We'll do two here. Hedge. Bush. Bush, maybe? Bush. Hedge. Uh, do I like that? Oh, I don't know. No, I don't think I do. Oh no! Okay, we'll lift this up. I thought I would. Right. Okay, let's let's do the path. I'll deal with that later. Let's continue with the path. I mean, we need this one. Hang on. My idea was here was to do like a teeny tiny little pond. This here. Oh, that's cute. See, that's cute. I like that. Uh, ladder. Let's go up here and then add the waterfall here and then something can go here maybe some trees i'm thinking trees that one can be better. Um, one or two. Oh, see i don't know can you believe i played this game for four years four years and i am still useless at this i like this shape is that the closest that can go oh uh, Maybe a bush here, maybe. And maybe bush on the end of this too. Is that gonna be enough space? I don't want to have to like slip around. So that'll be the one single path here and you'll go this way and then, right, okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to, this is the path I'm using. I'm gonna go down here and around here I'm not going to do it all, I will be back to show you where I'm going to continue, but we'll just, I'll be back in a sec because you know what path I'm putting down, that's not really exciting. Okay, so I've done this so far and I don't know how I'm feeling about this path, it's so pretty but this edge here is really, really harsh. Oh, another bush here, 
I think we need a bush on the end. Because that just, that doesn't look good here. And I'm really disappointed because on the other side it doesn't look as bad, I don't think. Okay, so I've done a little bit off of camera just to see. I think I like this path. I like this path better than the other one. It's definitely like not as harsh, but it's still like, oof. I don't know, maybe I need to change the terraform in there. I'm not sure. But I thought what we could do whilst we get, whilst, blah, 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 whilst we are together, is this is what I've done. Nothing super exciting, but I think I want like a tiny little like jump of water here from the cliff. Maybe though, that's cute. Hmm, no. Oh yeah, there we go, kind of, kind of? Is it? Oh, I don't know, I don't know if I like that. I like just the like the one little bit here and then... Okay, this is what I've got so far. Let's pop a bush down. And then maybe a flower. And then a code, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, let's try butterfly because that's so pretty. And then, uh, ooh, if I stand here, is a tree going to go there? Yes, yes it will. So what we'll put here is a, let's do a flower. And then a pink flower. Maybe bush. Maybe bush will go there. Bush. Oh, maybe. Or fence. Maybe fence. So let's do the opposite way. So let's go hedge first. Come back a little bit. Hedge. Can I not fit another fence here? No. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It'll go there. It'll. Can I do that side first? That side. This side. And then jumpy jump. Jumpy jump over here. And then we'll lift. Come on. Come on. Come on. Maybe that's, maybe that's what we'll do. Uh, let's put a flower here. Does the one not go here? I'm not going to go there. Would a code go there though? See if a code will, because a flower apparently will not. I've got these pretty ones. Maybe just a simple one. Why can that, that? Why can nothing go there? Okay, I've got a bush left. Yes, I've got some bushes. There we go. Maybe I need to. Oh, I'm gonna be able to. I feel like there needs a code under there. <laughs> no, it's gonna make me pick the flower. No, I'm, just gonna, I'm not gonna pick it. I'm not gonna pick it. I'm gonna dig it up. We're gonna dig it up. Then we're gonna pick the pick the fence. We're gonna pick the fence. Okay, let's put some code down. Uh, what code shall we use? Would this one go here? This is from the other path, but I think this is still quite cute. One. Two flower. Okay, I'm, much, I'm feeling much, much more confident about this. I have a feeling I'm cutting out quite a lot of this video because it's taken me a fair amount of time to get here. So let's put a code down here. Are we, should we use the same code again? This one. And then this one. No! Oh no, that doesn't look good, does it? Please. I know you will. I know there's room for a bush. There is room for a bush! Stop it! What? <laughs> this drives me insane because we all know that there is room for a bush there. And if I terraform this, watch, which is going to change all my terraforming again. Terraform this. Let's dig this. Oh, maybe there wasn't room for a bush. Was there? No, there was. Because my terraforming... Yeah, my terraforming went here. So... Let me scoot this bit here. And then let me scoot this bit here. And there it is. See? Room for... It tried to trick me. 
Okay, so I took a little bit of time where I had some tea, I dealt with my children, and I bagged them. Whilst I was eating my tea, I decided to try and do the water terraforming, which took me a lot longer than I'd like to care to admit because I hate water terraforming. I hate terraforming in general. But now we have sort of a cohesive area. So this is one tiny little pool, which I'm not 100% sure about yet, but I'm just going to leave it for now. And then obviously as we come up our entrance, we jump over here, we can jump over either way. I've got a little uh, wheat field here and the reason I haven't decorated anymore because I had to stop myself. So this is where meringue is and I was thinking about potentially giving meringue like a two-tiered garden, maybe? Like all this space is hers. If I cut off, I don't know, like so much here maybe with terraforming i'm not sure i like the idea of that so like for instance i'd cut this part off but then it'd just extend the back so i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to do or i could use like building pieces maybe potentially if i put a tree on either side so we'll put no one a little bit further would that maybe cover it? I don't want it like too close to the gate. I don't know what trees I have left. Um, I don't have any trees left, so just give me a second and we'll go get some trees. Okay, I fetched two trees. I've got a cherry tree, which wouldn't be too bad because the medieval. Oh no. Hmm. Hmm. Hang on, let's do this one a little bit closer, but I don't want it to cover the gate too much. But then again, if it does, does it really matter? Oh, see, they're nice. Huh. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me just... Let's eat my apple and then we'll move this cherry tree one closer and then see what we think. Maybe. I'm not sure if it's too close or not. So, okay, I quite like that, though. Because the other thing that I have got that I fetched was... Where are you? Uh, here? Yes, here and I could potentially bring the trees forward and have this tucked behind the trees maybe like more of a perspective thing okay let's eat some more fruit and then we will do that as well the medieval wall I don't know why I'm being so plumping fussy because I've mixed this combo before and I don't know I don't know if my brain's just panicking because I haven't filmed for YouTube in oh no switch push there we go is that too far no that's perfect so the idea would be to put maybe stairs coming down here or even a ladder because we don't have to like she doesn't really have to climb the ladder down here or the stairs to get here it can just be part of her garden so potentially that is something that we will do so let's finish the entrance part because that was meant to be built today and i feel like i have done so much and so little at the same time. I will time travel forward so all the flowers are back so we can see properly. There's a tulip there as well but I think I might just get rid of that one. But we're just gonna finish decorating this. I have got a street lamp. Here we go. And that can go over here. Let's, nope. Do not want to stick that up. Keep pushing. Push. Push. Let's pop a wheat field here. Cute. Uh, what else have I got that I've taken out? Castle. We don't need that. Nope. Oh, no, no. Ooh, a bike. I always love putting a bike near the entrance. I wonder if I can put it here. Do it that way. Push. 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 We push it down a bit. I think we push it across. Ah, I've got drift in my controllers. Um, maybe we could pull it down slightly into this area here. Um, I will be getting the Princess Peach ones because they are pink. And I think it's about time I have some proper pink controllers. So we've got this space here to decorate as well. So I think a bench would look nice here. I might change it for a garden bench, but I think that's actually really cute. 
Okay, I'll pop that there. We're going to pop uh, another street lamp here, I think. Where have I put those? Here we go. That is not what I'm after. Oh, maybe, but not yet. There, that's the one. Can I pull it across or am I going to get stuck? Yeah, so <laughs> let's pull you across one. Next to the bench, what have I got? I think I picked up a little box, which might look cute. Um, ah, here we go, wooden box. Maybe we can put a drink on it or some paper or something, I'm not sure. I've got these, so I want to put one here. I don't know if this one's going to be too big though, if we need to go for the smaller one. Although that's quite cute. I don't want too much here, but I have got... Oh, that's cute. Oh my god, I'd have to scooch. Lift you up. You across slightly, because you fit perfectly in there. Right, and then can I put the round topiary... Airy, topiary? Topiary... 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 This way, this way. Scooch, scooch, scooch. I know that's cute. Although I do think I need to change the colour of that bench. So just bear with me a second. Okay, so I've customised some things, and I've got some more things out. So let's go for the log bench first. Here we go. Scoot it across. To my push that right up there and then I got some destination signs which I might need to move this flower for because it could go here but I think that would be really nice because it's like a it's like the biggest because it's such a big gap isn't it so but I'm not going to put a code down because we've got the path so let's find where they are here we go and then push See, it just takes up such a big space. That's cute. And then for here, I got where is it? Milk can because it's like so cottagey spring cord, which I think is super cute. Which means I do think that we could potentially push this further across now. Maybe that. And then I picked up these because they're super cute to pop down. Nope, did not want to do that. <clears throat> oh, animal crossing. Not stressful in the slightest. Drop. Yeah, how cute is that? I also picked up some of these. If we grab one and then we can drop it. Cute, 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 cute. I think that's adorable. I got a sign. This one? Yep. Nope, of course it's my face. <laughs> God. I might have to move the topiary. Maybe. But this sign, I don't want it facing us because I've got no nice designs for it at the minute. So maybe we'll move this over to the end of the bed. Like that. Maybe the topiary is not meant to be here. It can be a bit, unless it was to go where this flower is. No, that's not the one I want. If it can go here, then potentially it might look nice, but I don't want it to look too much. I've got the, this one. See, is that nicer? And then pop up the flower back here. Let's change that. Okay. Lift this side off. Shape this one. Make this a corner piece. Which is this one. And then let's change this one into a middle piece. Right here. There it is. Okay, and I think this bit is okay to begin with. I think that's quite nice. I do need to get some vines and things, but I'll do that in the next video. I did get, um, did get a windmill. I, d I don't think 
because of the tree being there, I don't think there's enough space. It's a really big item, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, pop. Barrel? Where's the barrel? Maybe that would go there. I'd need to continue the path. But like I said, that's not a today thing. I do think I'm going to move this though. Let's just move it. Uh, we will complete this path though, because I'm just not going to leave it completely unfinished. Not past the topiary though, because we don't need to. I wonder if I got rid of this, I could put the windmill here. Because I love the windmill, and if you watch my build, it's an object I use all the time. I think it might be. But I don't know if I to have it facing this way. No, that's not a wheat field. I've got the log stakes to use as well, so maybe that needs to be used on a slightly better part. I think yeah. two wheat fields would look nice as if it's like overgrowing though. I'll try that one. See, I like that, I think. Do I? Uh, mm. Maybe just the one. I think I'm going to get rid of this bush because there's a lot of green here. Now I've taken the pink away. I, I'm literally right there, game. I'm not sure why I'm not letting me put it there. Put a barrel and put the star fragment on top of there. That might look nice. Oh my god, I swear. This game is not stressless. <laughs> I miss the old days where we like everything was new and we loved it all. Okay, I had to do some addition around because the windmill would not fit once I put the barrel there, but I think the barrel there is really, really cute. So we're going to pop a star fragment on there. So let's drop that. See, that's really cute. Okay, okay, okay. I think... Except, oh, the little sign. I want to put the little sign in. I'm not sure if... Did we sit... Was there space here after? Let's have a look. Uh, I'm sure it'll let me squeeze it in. Come on. Yes. There we go. And like I said, you don't need to see the front of it because it's just got some strawberries on it. But I think, I think, I think, I think the entrance is technically done. It's a big entrance <laughs> and I have a lot of space left to fill over that side, but I will be doing that next video. So I'm just going to time travel forward so all the flowers are really like back where they're meant to be and I will show you. Okay, so we're back and I've time travelled to like early in the morning. I can't hear the sound at the minute because I don't have headphones on. But I hope it's that nice morning music and there's cherry blossoms flying everywhere so it just seems perfect. So the entrance is pretty bare. I think I need to, like I say, I'm definitely going to get some vines. I don't have them at the minute and I don't want to take any longer to do this because I've been doing this for hours and I know it doesn't seem like it but it really, really has been. So as you walk up the stairs, we have this area which I think is pretty cute. I'll see if I can get a photo for you. And there is the bit up there. It's dead natural. It's a lot more natural than I usually do. Like I say, I want this island to be sort of half natural slash fairy core slash pink pastels. I don't really know. It's just going to be an island that I really, really love. And then obviously we can walk around this way. And then there's this little bit, again, really, really simple, nothing super extravagant, but I think it's cute. We have this super cute viewing area, which is going to be opposite of Meringue's house or whoever's there. If I keep them there, all their Meringue's colours fit really well. And again, I'm going to add more of the vines and stuff to cover the cliffs up and her garden will be completely done. I think I'm going to do her like a like two-tier farm. But yeah this is it i really enjoyed building it today it's been a lot more stressful because i've forgotten how to play animal crossing on youtube because i usually play it handheld but yeah so anyway thank you so much for watching if you've managed to get this far like comment and subscribe what else you'd like to see in this new series of this let's play this 
cute pastel pink spring island whatever it's going to be and yeah thank you so much for watching give it a like if you think it's worth liking and i will be back very very shortly and hopefully i'll be sticking around bye guys Thank you.